from being kind of like midway in shape and had a transformation. But God said he wasn't done with me yet. He needed my story to speak to a bigger volume of people. So when I got pregnant, my mom got ill at the same time and had spinal surgery. So imagine already been a new mom getting ready to have a baby and you're going to gain weight regardless because you got to, you know, nourish your baby. Then your mom is ill, has spinal surgery, has to learn how to walk again. So you're taking care of yourself, that, and being a new wife. So I forgot about me. And that's something that we do as women. We forget about ourselves because we're so nurturing to others that we put all our energy into them. Nothing is wrong with that. However, you cannot forget about yourself in the same aspect. So with me doing that, I got up to a whopping 220 pounds, but I'm only barely 5'3". So it's different if you're a little taller because you wear your weight differently. But if you're short, y'all know we already got bottles in that size. It went straight whoosh, to the side, to the left, to the right. Every place I did not want to, and I think most women would not want to. So, with that being said, most women, I would say most women, when you're not used to being in your own skin, you're unhappy. You don't want to come outside. You don't want to be seen by anyone. I think I wore black and sweatpants when it was 90 degrees outside trying to camouflage stuff. And I had an eye-opening moment, a moment like, okay, look, if I'm unhappy and I don't, I'm sluggish, I'm tired, what else can I do to change that? Go back to your old ways. And that's something that we do as women. We know what to do because we done did it before. However, when you have a setback, instead of jumping back into it and doing 